A groin injury is in the, when you have an injury or pain in the groin region. So the groin region is from here down to here uh, and contains lots of different muscles and also the hip joint. The two main causes of groin injury is having had a groin injury in the past. So if you had a groin injury last season or the season before, there's much more chance to get a new groin injury in the next season. And also if the muscles in your groin are not strong enough for the sport you want to do, that also increases the risk of getting a groin injury. The main symptom of groin injury would be having pain in the groin. And depending which muscle you've injured or which structure in the groin is injured, the pain will be in a slightly different place. But the main symptom is pain in the groin. And normally that pain gets worse when you do exercise. So the more you try and use that muscle, the more painful it will become. Yes, there are different types of groin injury. You have an acute groin injury, so during sprinting or in football or when you kick the ball, you get a sudden sharp pain. Or you can have more like a chronic groin injury where the pain is coming up slowly, week by week after each training session, a little bit worse and it's building up slowly. So you have acute or more long-standing chronic injury. For acute adductor injury, in nearly all the cases, we can treat this with good active rehabilitation. So active rehabilitation means from the day of the injury, you would start doing gentle exercises and then slowly over time, you build up the strength of your adductor muscle back to being ready to go back to sport again. Here at Aspatar, we have a number of specialists in this, uh, in this field and we've developed a very nice protocol. How can we go step by step and guide the rehabilitation back to sport again? The treatment of groin injury depends on what kind of injury that you have. There are, for athletes, there are four main locations that you can have an injury in your groin. Um, if you look at the picture, you can have an adductor injury, so adductor-related groin pain, iliopsoas-related groin pain, inguinal-related groin pain, or pubic-related groin pain. And the treatment will vary depending on which of these four main injuries that you have. In general, it's normally going to start with doing rehabilitation and we have different protocols for different injuries. But some of the injuries, if they don't get better with rehabilitation, you can benefit from surgery. There's some good new uh, evidence from scientific studies showing that strengthening your groin with some simple exercises can reduce your chance of getting a groin injury. So there's a, a simple exercise called Copenhagen adduction exercise and it's been shown that if you do this as a football player, after every training session, you'll have less chance of getting a groin injury when you're playing football. So for pain on exercising during rehabilitation with groin injury, if we say zero is no pain and 10 is the maximum pain, then normally we'd want to have you doing exercises where feeling a one or a two out of 10 is okay. So it's fine to feel a little bit of pain when you're rehabilitating. If you've got big pain like six, seven or eight, then we need to make the exercises more gentle for you. So two out of 10 is the maximum. Aha, the million dollar question and also the hardest to answer because how long it will take to recover depends on how bad the injury is. So if you have a very mild injury to your adductor, Maybe you can play again after one week. If you completely torn the muscle that it's fully ruptured, maybe this would take three months, four months. So how long? That's the difficult question. And that's what we aim to help you with here at Aspatar is to make a good prognosis for you. So we can say based on our experience, your injury will take about this long. So here at Aspatar, we've had the, the sports groin playing clinic since 2012. Uh, very proud to be part of the team here. 
And I think the strength here is that we're multidisciplinary. So I'm a sports medicine physician. I work together with Dr. Vukovic, who's a consultant general surgeon. Dr. Mushawek is coming as a surgeon. We have lots of expert physiotherapists. So we're working as doctor, surgeon, physiotherapist, if we needed biomechanic, podiatry, and we're, we're coming at it from many different angles. So I think that's the, one of the most important strengths of the treatment here at Aspatar, is that we combine the knowledge of all the different specialists. And by doing this, we've developed specific protocols for some of the most common groin injuries. So adductor injury or inguinal injury, we have a big experience treating that and we can use our knowledge to develop the best possible treatment.